Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Yash and today we will learn how to create tab bar app programmatically. If you don't know what tab bar is, then I have a video where I show how to create a tab bar using a storyboard. I will put link in the description and also as a card above. So this is what I created and it's done totally in code. So uh, instead of two, maybe we can have three tabs uh, for this uh, tutorial. So let's get started. I'll start with creating a new Xcode project. It will be a single view app and let's name it tab bar, tab bar in code and make sure interface is storyboard, doesn't matter and make sure language is Swift. Hit next and I'll save it on the recording. You can save it wherever you like. And I'll change a simulator to iPhone 12 Pro and just run it so that it starts loading. And I'll make it full screen. So, okay, we are good to go. So uh, we don't need to worry about the storyboard. So we'll start coding. Uh, first thing first, we'll change this UI view controller to be UI tab bar controller. That's what we are going to do. Okay, couple of things. Tab bar is like a collection of multiple view controllers. So we need, uh, so here we will set up a view control controllers or actually we will create instances. Cre instance of view controllers and next thing we will do is assign view controllers to tab bar that's what we will do so we need couple of view, uh, view controllers first so let's go ahead and create new classes so i'll say class second vc uh, which means second view controller and this is going to be of type ui view controller and here we'll say view did load and super dot view did load and let's change the background color so i'll say view dot background color is equal to let's do light gray for starters and we can have two more so third we see view control ui view controller and open parentheses view did load super dot view did load and here we will say background color and maybe we can have system blue and you you know what we can just copy this copy and we can paste it here let's instead of you know what uh, instead of second we we can do this uh, let's name it home vc and this is going to be favorite vc and this let's make it notify vc okay and instead of system blue we will change it to let's do system teal and yep we are good to go so let's go ahead and create instances for our controllers so i'll do uh, oops let home vc equal to home vc and this favorite vc equal to favorite vc and let do notify vc equal to notify vc and open close parentheses and here we will assign this view controllers to our tab bar controller so when you do self self means our tab bar controller because we changed uh, uh, so we are inheriting from tab bar controller not UI view controller like this view controllers. So when you do self, uh, it says it means tab bar controller in this part. If you do self here, it will mean UI view controller. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I, when you do self dot uh, tab bar, you can see tab bar here because we are inheriting from UI tab bar controller. But if you do self here, you will not see tab bar because uh, tab bar item is different than tab bar so uh, make sure you know that and okay so we'll do self dot set view controllers 
and here it takes an array so we will pass in home vc favorite vc and notify vc and this order definitely matters uh, if you put favorite vc in the end uh, you will see the tab icon in the end so let's run the app and see how it looks okay uh, we don't see any title or icons but like if you click in the center you will see color being changed so first let's go in and add title to our uh, view controllers and there is a way uh, you can definitely do it here so you can do title uh, equal to let's say um, home and let's just copy this and I'll paste it here and instead of favorite so I'll save this and run the app again uh, just to prove a point um, okay uh, we see home here because it just loaded but you don't see favorite until you click on it so we want it to show title like uh, all together right so we will assign title right here so instead of doing here let me take that off and I'll take this off as well and I'll I'll show it right here so we can have set title right here and we will say home vc dot title and let's make it home and uh, here we will do favorite vc dot title title is equal to favorite and here we will say notify vc dot title is equal to notify and let me go ahead and run the app and you can see that we we now see title for uh, all our bar button uh, bar items right but we still don't have images so let's go ahead and set images so in order to set images we need uh, so uh, we will get instance from our uh, tab bar controller so i'll say guard let items so it's going to be an array of items and i'll say self dot tab bar dot items and else if it's not there we'll just return and here let's go ahead and set items so i'll do for item in items and here we'll do item dot image is equal to we need an array of objects so we'll do let images equal to and this names should match so first is house second was uh, favorite so it's a star and bell icon for notify and here we will assign the image so we will say ui image and it's going to be system named and we'll pass in images and uh oh okay we need to do so we, we will do for x in let's do um, zero dot dot let's you know what let's do zero zero two and here we will pass in x okay pretty uh so here it's going to be items items and here we'll pass in x as well so let me go ahead and run the app and it should probably work and something's wrong here items items we have it here items x and it's going to be dot image and let me go ahead and run the app and now we see all the icons right here uh, but you know what i don't like this tint color blue so i'll just make that final modification and to change the tint color i can go here i'll say changing tint color and you can say self dot tab bar dot tint color and i'll just say dot black and i'll run the app once again okay now we have black tint color looks pretty good right uh, if you guys have any questions or comment you can leave uh, in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to hit like and please subscribe for future videos i'll see you guys next time and one more thing the project file will be in the description if you wish you can go ahead and download it from right there thank you